everybody, and welcome back to Aurora Plays Dungeons & Dragons Dark Alliance. Uh, in the previous session, we did the first two levels of the new expansion, that being the uh, Act 1 and Act 2 of the Abandoned Mines. And now we're going to jump into Act 3. So we, cultists, so we did the Depths of we Madness. We have dealt with most of the Dorgar in this part of Kelvin's care. But trolls were the bigger threat. They had nested deep within those caverns and were preying on all they found. Worse still, mages from the Crystal Cult were apparently breeding the trolls for who knows what purpose. We would put an end to the work of the cultists and destroy the trolls before they were set loose upon the Dale. Yes, yeah, so we did that, and now... The cultists were mages driven mad from their exposure to Crystal Remnant. Mad enough to attempt to breed a troll army. To no one's surprise, that army overwhelmed them. <laughs> and had begun to pour out of every tunnel under Kelvin's care. The heart of the troll nest was in a deep pit that the Dorgar had tried and failed to destroy. We would have to finish the work the Dorgar started and put an end to the madness of these mages. Although I'm not really sure what this has to do with the Blood War, because the Blood War is you know, fighting amongst the, the devils and demons in all of the ninth levels of the Abyss and the Hell, so who knows? Maybe the next act will uh, tie into that. But anyway, here we go. Uh, yep, we're doing this one again. And I discovered there's no way to turn off abilities once they've been activated, so... The only really way to do that... Yeah, the only way to do that would be to go back and actually rebuild the character, which is kind of a bitch. Uh, oh, wait, oh, yes, what, what Driz just said. So, anyway... This is going to be like an entire army of trolls. This is going to suck because the trolls have got that rock throw instant death move. So lots of dodging. The trouble with trolls. Oh, we just got to navigate the nest. All right, so it's like it's just a boss I fight. I have one shot to rid the day of these trolls. I just hope the Dorgar left enough black powder down there to get the job done. Oh. <laughs> Shard cultists. Take that. There's some black powder here. And a tablet. Enemies of the Dale! Oh, jeez. And stay down. Ooh, we got shiny gold armor. I shall take it. And some money. And... Ah! Oh! Jeez! Now, I'll take a nice, gentle stroll through the explosive poisonous things. 
There we go. Now run, 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 run. Just decorative. Is your blade sharp? Always the boy. Come, goblins. Meet your end. <laughs> Oh, wrong button. Did not mean to summon Gwyneth. <laughs> that was a, quite a waste. Ah. an alternate way to get to the same location? Oh no. My work continues. Finally got the parry on the boss. That's two. It's only four of those. For the people of Ten Towns. Ah, I guess this is in a different direction of that. Potion. Ah, damn it. Section wasn't as full of suck as I thought it was going to be. Ah, okay, here we go. So. Oh, is that all? It's kind of 
disappointing. Okay, so I think opening that lock would be something quite significant. Three barrels of explosive down here. Load those into mining carts, and that will end this troll infestation. Another battle ahead. Oh, God damn it. That's it. Ah. Didn't think the assassination was possible anymore. Come on, you piece of crap. There we go. Bounce the guy away. Any other awesomeness over here? No? Oh, what? Ah, I see. Time to rip a tail for another troll. Oh, wrong button. No, 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 no. God damn it. Oh, Christ. Die! 
Hell yes. Back to the mud, troll. That ass out of my face. Done, Drist, you just set them on fire. We got fire trolls to deal with now. Oh. Okay. That's a lot of loot. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, okay, not bad. As resistance. Oh, yeah, I need that. Because my Sorcerer's Sentinel set, I've only got the... Yeah. So... There we go. You can thank me later. My current one's only just maximum stamina, so this one gives me... Better things. Alright, sweet. Well, that was it for the the end of the first one here, the abandoned mines. Yeah, I was a little bit disappointed in that, if I'm perfectly honest. It's just you know more of the same, just more grinding out things. But I really, really loved the uh, the Crystalline Dreams one because it actually gave you like a really unique boss fight at the end with the Beholder, but. Let's see what if the spawn of Yanogu will give us, although I suspect this is just going to be another uh, Knoll run through, but let's see where we go. Knolls are not native to Icewind Dale. They had come to these lands driven by the whip of their master, the Demon Lord Yanogu. Arr? We had to cross the Ragged Wash to hunt down the Knolls, but the only way across that mighty river was an ancient Netherese portal within the ruins of Fort Onoramek. 
We needed to recover the Netherese keystones to activate the portal and cross the river. But the keystones were guarded by the servants of Levistus. Ooh, nice. Levistus is actually one of the um, the more interesting of the chaos uh, demon lords. I believe he is in charge of the sixth. The sixth level, um, and his thing, he's like the uh, the demon lord of vengeance. But no one really knows what he looks like because he's been frozen in a block of solid ice for all of eternity. So he's but he's still able to talk to people even though he's in that block of ice. And so he sends people off to get their vengeance. You know, we didn't actually see anything to do with that tree in the previous episode, like that person being. So maybe this is what that was all alluding to. Ah, soul coins. Well, that makes sense. Facing off against the demon Urtu was bad enough, and I was lucky to send him back to the abyss. But if a demon lord gets a foothold in the dale, it will not stop until its evil has consumed the world. Nope. Alright, can't open that. <laughs> Defeat the Pyromancer. Okay, and we've got more buttons to push. Ah, oh, hello there, sexy. Portal's four keystones must be scattered around the fort. They'll need to be recovered and placed at the portal to activate it. Servants of Levistus. This one's had training. Oh, ow. You fuck off. Dick. First keystone. Ah, the first button that needs to be pushed. So my guess here would be I'm going to have to do a dashy thing. So we get the warmth. Mm. 
pied with fui. Alright, first one activated. Okay. This is definitely looking more Blood Warsy. You piece of shit! Vomited on me. Guys are dangerous. Why did the ogre did we get him? Oh, he must have done. Yay, us. <laughs> All right. Now the question is, how do we get up there? the button. Where is the soul coin? And it's the next question. 
There'll have to be one around here somewhere. Ah-ha-ha! <laughs> there it is. It's a puzzler. Ah, it's got to be something. What comes after 10? Foolish greens. I believe the answer is 11. Should have indeed. Also learned how to count to eleven. Be sure that the death key is not a bit of punishment or most severe future painful task. Well, I got you there, both of you, Johnny. If the keys are taken, that means I'm probably dead. Dead, yes. Your soul belongs to us. Wait, my soul? Is that what that big guy was talking about? Goblins. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. I hate when I got the target lock on the wrong damn target. Sure, you do though. Yeah, when he said Bofa Shuck, I thought he was actually making a Boba Fett joke because of their helmets. Which wouldn't surprise me if that's what the developers were going for. guys are against the gnolls? I would have thought these guys are with the gnolls. Oh no, if these guys are with Levisus, they won't be with Yonogu. That makes sense. Servants of Levisus.
Oh, yay. There we go. Some gold. See, can we see the soul coin anywhere along here? No. Hmm. Ah! Well, I've got all the balls now. So now it's just a matter of putting them into where they belong and fighting the big boss. But we've got a whole bunch of other stuff left to do, though. See, that's just un... That's just mean, what that is. Some new gloves. Ah, okay, so that's a thing over there for the next part of the gates. So that will take me back down. I don't want to go back down. Okay, another coin. Sweet. Missing the the multi triangle. Aha. 
Alright, and there's just one more soul coin to go. Oh, it's probably over this way. More foes to fell. Oh, jeez, Louise. Coin would have to be around here somewhere, wouldn't it? You guys would never know where the soul coin is, would you? No, I didn't think so. Yeah, you guys have a rest. I'll find it. Ah! There it is. That's clever. The goblins were trying it. Was showing me exactly where it was. All right. Oh, what? Oh, come on.
<laughs> Cop that. Nice. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, Rimaraz, Acid, Lightning. Ah, oh, Rot Lightning Resistance Scimitar. Does cold damage. <laughs> so, you killing lots of bad guys and taking their stuff? Sweet. All right. Well, I think for today, that's where we're going to leave it. Uh, so we've got two more missions to do in the uh, Echoes of the Blood War expansion, and then two more to do, which was part of the, uh, the free update. So we'll do those in the next couple of sessions. But um, um, so far, a little disappointed with the, uh, the Blood Wars expansion because I was kind of expecting some slightly different... Uh, environs or at least some different enemies to fight but really from what I can tell is just uh, rehashing the uh, the old setups I mean the the troll one was interesting because it was the first time we'd fought that electric troll for the first time since uh, the uh, the first part of the game but um, yeah anyway we will see what they what they come up with in the next couple of sessions so uh, for now Thank you all very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. I have been your humble host, Tim. And be sure to come back for the next session of Aurora Plays Dungeons & Dragons Dark Alliance. Bye!